Hey guys, Amanda here from Perfectionism Prints, and today I'm going to do a comparison between the Gilio and Moterm Black Croco Personal Wide Ringbound Planners. So first of all, I will acknowledge that I have not made a YouTube video in a couple of months, and I've been um, just completely pouring myself into getting perfectionismprints.com launched. And I mean, it was a huge project. If you haven't checked out the new website, I would highly encourage you to go check it out. I have it set up just how I want it. It's a lot easier to navigate than Etsy. Um, so on Etsy, there's a different listing for each size of each insert. The website is organized by insert, so you can just go um, to the insert itself and then choose your size from a drop down menu. And speaking of sizes, I have 13 sizes up on my website and um, I do not yet have all of those sizes uploaded to Etsy. So I've been pouring my heart and soul into that and it has taken a lot of time. Like I even took a week off from my day job to work on the website. And I mean, I was working like 16 hour days on that baby. And um, a lot of it was just getting files ready, um, getting all the inserts resized so that I could offer each insert in 13 sizes and um, making sure that everything was formatted for duplex printing. So anyway, um, I had been um, making YouTube less of a priority during that time, but now I intend to come back and make videos more regularly. So this is a video that I have been wanting to do for a really long time. <laughs> I am sorry that it took me so long to do this because I had told people that I would do this. Um, but today we're going to talk about Gilio versus Moterm. Uh, if you're not familiar with these two companies, um, this is really like comparing apples and oranges, despite how these may look, at least when it comes to the price point, because Gilio is a luxury uh, leather goods um, merchant. They're based out of Belgium and... Um, you know, their stuff is made out of very high quality uh, leather. I, I believe even the Croco is made out of calfskin leather. Um, and the, you know, all of the components are really nice too, like the rings inside and, and all that, but we'll get to that in a minute. And then Moterm is a um, company based out of China and they sell on um, AliExpress and they sell some of their products on Amazon as well, at least Amazon in the US. I can't speak to Amazon in other countries. Um, and they use leather as well, but um, their leather is not as high quality as Gilio's, um, but their price point, Moterm's price point is much better. So because we have these two planners that look so similar on the outside, I wanted to kind of talk about, you know, the pros and cons and is it worth it to go for the more expensive planner and all of that. First, let's just talk about the size. So uh, these are both personal wide uh, planners. And let's see, I think the Moterm one is actually a little bit bigger. Let me just try to stack them up like this. I mean, they're pretty close. This might not be the best way to measure this. Because <laughs> I really... Yeah, I think the Moterm is just a tad bit taller. Either that or I just don't have these lined up well. Please don't take these measurements uh, for granted. I mean, maybe it's like a, I don't know, a millimeter or two taller. And they really look like they're the same width at least like this. Uh, let's open them up and lay them out. So Julia's on the bottom and Moterm is on top. I know I'm not getting this all in the frame right now, but um, I mainly just want to see the edges. Um, I mean, yeah, I think the width is almost exactly the same, pretty close though. Um, but these are both 30 millimeter rings. These are um, 
a lot less expensive rings. These are cross or Krause rings. Um, they're like the Lamborghini of planner rings. And the fact that I made a car analogy just tells me how much my husband is rubbing off on me. You know, honestly, they're both good rings. I mean, none of them have significant gaps. Um, they're both removable, but the Moterm, it's a lot easier to remove them because all you have to do is take a flathead screwdriver and unscrew this and then the rings come right off. Whereas with the Gilio, I know that there is a way to remove them and I know there's a lot of YouTube videos about it. I know I've also been too scared to actually do it <laughs> because some people say it's kind of tricky to, um, I don't think it's tricky to get them off necessarily. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's, it can be tricky to get the new rings on and, and I'm not a hundred percent sure if it's easy to salvage the old rings where you can save them when you take them off and I wouldn't want to just ruin them. So I haven't changed them out, but you technically can. The interior layout is different as well. Um, it looks similar on the left side here. You have um, like a zipper pocket on both of them. Now you'll notice that the zipper in the, um, the Moterm is silver and in the Gilio it's dyed um, to match the planner color, so that's nice. But the, um, I think this is, this is plastic. I don't know. The zipper itself on the Gilio is not that impressive, but the, um, the zipper here is like a nice YKK zipper. It's like one of those things like the, um, pause egg dye for Easter. Like, I don't know anybody else who actually makes zippers except YKK. <laughs> I'm sure there are other people. And I mean, this is like a nice sturdy metal, so that's nice. And um, you could put, if you're into planner charms or whatever, I mean, you could easily hook like a charm into this one. Whereas the Gilio, the opening is a lot smaller, so you'd have a lot harder time doing that if that's something that's important to you. Um, you'll notice that the, um, the Moterm one, it does, I don't know if this is just mine, but it doesn't zip up all the way. Um, like the zipper goes up all the way. I mean the um, the teeth here go up all the way, but the zipper itself Can only go up this far and So you can see like this brown lining inside not a huge fan of that personally, but um, I, I don't know that it would really um, sacrifice a lot of function uh, I, I mean, I don't know I guess you could have stuff falling out there, but I mean, unless you have really tiny things in this pocket, I mean, you can, a coin couldn't even really come out there. So, um, I don't know how much it would sacrifice function, but then you have like this little card pocket here in both. Um, you have this slip pocket here, this vertical slip pocket in both on the Gilio, It's kind of angled. Um, the lining inside Gilio has like a faux leather lining, um, that's dyed black and the, um, the Moterm has a brown, I think it's like a canvas or like a nylon lining. And that's the same for inside of the pocket. And inside of Gilio's pocket, again, is the black lining. Now, I do think that in Gilio's lighter colors, they have a brown lining. So, you know, depending on what color you get, your lining could look different, but um, but this one has the black, which is nice. I like that the lining matches the, the color of the planner. And, um, and then they both have the big back pocket. Again, the Moterm has the brown lining. And, um, you know, this is nice because you can fit a lot in here. You could fit a folded in half piece of letter size or A4 size paper. Um, and, you know, Julia has that same big back pocket lined in the black. Now on the right side, the layout is pretty different. So you have eight uh, business card size pockets here on the Gilio. And again, they have the, um, the black 
lining inside. And then on the Moterm, um, you have horizontal card pockets and you have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And then you have um, a vertical slip pocket here and a vertical slip pocket here. And on the, um, oh, and then you have a secretarial pocket here with the brown lining inside. And with the Gilio, um, you don't have any vertical slip pockets here. You do have the secretarial pocket. I like slip pockets because it's a nice place to um, to put stickers or note like notepads or things like that that are functional. Um, you also can, if you want deco. I mean, you could you know put something in here that's poking out the side that looks really nice. I know. Planner Press, for one, has come out with some products specifically for these vertical slip pockets that kind of stick out and look really nice. I think that's cool. Yeah, the, the Gilio doesn't have any of those. I personally prefer the horizontal card pockets to the vertical, but um, that's just a personal preference. And um, you can also see that like the Gilio, I mean, this looks like it's all made from one piece of leather here. And then in the Moterm, there's a lot of variation. I think that's pretty cool. Um, but I mean, obviously that's just kind of a personal taste thing, whether you're gonna like that or not. And then on the Moterm one, you have a little um, tag here with the Moterm branding. On Gilio, there's no tag. You have a, uh, a stamp, uh, an imprinted embossed stamp here that says Gilio Campania. And uh, again, that's just kind of like a personal preference thing. They both have a clasp. Let's see if we can compare the size of this. So the Moterm one is, I mean, if I line up the edges of the planner here, the Moterm one is definitely longer, maybe like half an inch. Uh, I don't know, maybe less than that. Um, but it's definitely longer. And I think one of the reasons for that is because the Moterm has double poppers here, which I really like because it lets you um, have a more slim profile if you are not a planner stuffer <laughs> and you want to keep everything a little bit um, more compact. But if you are a planner stuffer, then you have the option to use this second popper here. And, um, and that's really nice because then that will accommodate more inserts. And the Gilio just has the single uh, popper here. You probably would not be able to accommodate quite the thickness that you would in the Moterm. All right, so let's see other things. So the hardware here is silver on both the Moterm and the Gilio. And I know that drives some people crazy because like if you get your Gilio with gold rings, but the rest of the hardware is silver, yeah, that's not my favorite thing in the world, but I guess it just really doesn't bother me that much. Plus I intend to get silver rings for this eventually. I'm just not gonna order them separately from Belgium because the shipping would be crazy. Um, oh, I didn't talk about the pen loops. So they both have a pen loop. The Moterm has one up here, like on the top part of the planner, and it is not elasticized. It's a decent size though. Wow, that is stiff. Can hear my husband in the background saying that's what she said you know so I mean it's a decent size uh, but because it's not elasticized you're not gonna get the stretch here that you would if it did have elastic okay so then the Gilio also has a pen loop but it's in the middle here and it is elasticized and it's a lot more pliable and I feel like probably the diameter is about the same, but you can probably get a bigger pen in this one because of the fact that there's that elastic there. And then let's talk about the feel of the planner. So for me, that's where you really notice a difference in price because um, first of all, this batch of Gilio Croco, so I hear, because I don't own any other um, black Gilio Croco, but I um, I heard, according to Mella and other people in the Gilio Facebook group, that this was a particularly good 
uh, black Krako batch. And I mean, it's really soft, really supple. Um, before I owned this planner, I didn't think I liked Krako leather because I thought it all felt plasticky, but um, that was before I got this. <laughs> and Like when you feel this, you can tell this is a luxury leather item. I mean, it feels really nice. It's soft, it's supple, it's, um, it smells really good. Sniff. Um, it doesn't smell exactly like my Royal Blue Campania. It's a little bit of a different smell, but it still smells like leather. And um, the Moterm, in my opinion, feels plasticky. Uh, I'm not saying that's a, a bad thing. It's just a preference thing. And I mean, for the price point of Moterm, um, you know, I think that's very reasonable, but it, do, it does feel very plasticky to me. There's um, a coating on this for sure. Um, and I mean, there's probably a coating on the Jillio leather too. I just, if, I don't know if there is, I can't tell. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is plasticky. It's not as supple, like it's, it's, um, it's drier. It's not as pliable. It smells kind of like Moterm smell, <laughs> which to me is not a great smell. It's a little chemical -y and maybe plasticky. I'm not sure. Um, but I mean, it's, it's really nice. It looks great. It does have maybe a little more of a sheen to it. Yeah, definitely more of a sheen than the, um, than the Gilio has. I also feel like it's, a, it's blacker than the Gilio, which I, I like that it's, that it's blacker. So both of these came with a fly leaf. I have no idea where my Gilio fly leaf is right now because I don't use my Gilios with the fly leaf because I think they look really nice, but they take up, um, very valuable real estate that I prefer to use for planner inserts. <laughs> so, but, um, this is the Moterm fly leaf. And I think this is pretty cool because this has another pen loop on it. This one is elasticized and it also has card pockets on it, on the back of it. So that's cool. Let's see how many card pockets do we have? One, two, three, and these are horizontal card pockets. So that's really nice. Um, really nice feature there. And, um, but the, the Jillio also comes with a fly leaf. Now price point, I, I don't remember exactly what I paid for both of these, but there is no doubt that, um, this one is way more expensive. And for a lot of people, I mean, the price would be a no brainer. I mean, some people just aren't going to spend that much for a planner and that is fine. It, it was worth it to me to, to get this. And with Jillio's, they have a really high resale value. So I always figure, Hey, if I don't like it, I will, um, I'll sell it. But uh, this one, I love this planner. I have been in this planner for months and months and months. I mean, ever since I got it, I took a brief time away from it to use my um, my Vanderspeck ostrich, which is nice. But see, this is how nice this Black Krakow is. Even though I had that really nice, genuine ostrich planner from Vanderspeck that was custom made to my specifications, I could not stay away from the look, the feel, and the smell of this Gilio. And um, like to me, it's absolutely worth it. But obviously that is an individual, um, you know, determination that you'll have to make for yourself. And, um, and then the other thing to consider is not all of the Gilio black matte Croco batches are this nice. And, you know, I've already um, seen people in the Gilio Facebook group you know, asking like, oh, is this black Croco like the batch, um, last fall when they made these? And, uh, you know, so I, I know that they have different batches. And so your mileage may vary as far as what you're actually able to get, depending on the batch that they have. Like if I, if this felt like plastic and it was more stiff and less pliable, I would not like it as much. I, I'm very much a tactile person when it comes to this stuff. Like if I'm spending uh, an obscenely large amount of money on a planner. I want to know it when I hold it in my hands. I want to feel it um, in my hands. I want it. I want it to smell like leather. And if it's not going to, then it's personally for me not worth the money. So this particular batch of black matte Croco was worth it to me. Other batches may not be. I can't tell you because I don't have them. Um, 
but the Moterm is, you know, I think the, the Black Croco is very classy. It's very professional. I have no issues keeping this on my desk um, at work. I mean, I, you know, I don't, um, I don't ever feel silly carrying this around with me. Um, and I, I would not feel that way with this one either. I think this one looks just as nice. Um, it, it mainly just comes down to the feel, I think. This one definitely has more pockets. Um, I think the quality, you know, like the fact this doesn't zip up all the way, quality is, is not on par with the Gilio, but again, at the price point, I would not expect it to be. Uh, and I mean, this may be a defect, like you may, if it arrived this way, I mean, I may have been able to contact them and get a replacement. Um, I'm not sure if that's how all of them are, or if that's just how mine was, but I think both of them are really solid choices. And um, I don't think you can go wrong with either. It just comes down to what you what you personally value. All right, guys. So that was my comparison of these two Black Croco Personal Wide Planners. And I just want to take this time to say thank you guys all so much for sticking here with me, for coming and, and watching me ramble on my YouTube channel, for checking out the website, for supporting my Etsy shop, for... Um, you know, all of those things, you guys have no idea how meaningful all of this has been to me, how rewarding it has been. Um, and it's all because of you. I, I couldn't do any of this without you. I mean, I, my shop got its start because I was inspired by comments in the, the minimal planners, Facebook group. <laughs> and so like, it's all because of you and, um, and because of God. And, and I just, I'm so thankful that I get to do this, um, and I, I just, I want you all to know that. So anyway, have a great day, guys. Like and subscribe if you want to, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.